Good evening, Trade Flair family. Welcome to the nightly breakdown where we break down what happened today in the stock market as well as give you an idea of what we're looking at into tomorrow. So, headed over to the key points, and the first key point that I'm looking at into tomorrow is the healthcare and biotech stocks. In the headlines, we saw ticker symbol BIIB, and this company actually reached six year highs. They jumped $109 after being halted, and this is after the FDA approving the first drug that actually promises to actually slow the disease rather than treat the symptoms for Alzheimer's. So this was actually a huge deal and a huge breakthrough in medical science. And whenever you see these breakthroughs, you start to see people look for the next one. And I really like this sector because all of these healthcare and pharmaceutical companies are really valuable. They'll hold their long-term value. And like I said, we're gonna be shifting to value. It's a good idea to start looking for rumors on these stocks. Specific healthcare catalysts can be very lucrative, so watch out for these. Next key point is something I'm looking at into the rest of the week, and this is tech and the NASDAQ. We talked about this on the weekly watch list. We said we were going to be watching Apple and Microsoft, but I'm really looking at these big names as a whole, these big tech names, Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon, Square, Nvidia, Qualcomm, pretty much any big cap tech company that has been holding and showing its value. Today we made some money off of some Microsoft, Apple, and Square calls expiring in July. Still holding most of those. All three are up around 20% right now. I'm pretty tech heavy right now, but tomorrow I'm really looking to get some healthcare if we are going to go run and break out on the spy i've already got some city calls so i've got exposure to the banks and i got a boeing call which brings me to my last key point which is the reopening stocks and i really want to watch these i like these because they're value plays but they have growth from the reopening so they could start to run here so let's head over to spy and see where we are where we could be heading into the rest of the week so looking at the daily time frame here and again we have a long wick on the bottom and a close in the upper third which is a hammer even though this candle is red i'm seeing that the buyers are in control and the sellers are exhausted there have been multiple tries to take this thing down and to see this better let's look at it on the four hour here and notice that we're right at this resistance at 422.90 notice that the distance between each of these touches to the resistance has been getting closer and closer and this proves to me that the buyers are there and they're wearing out the sellers every time we've seen these sellers at this resistance level they've tried to take it down and we've found support at a trend line. Combine this with some good inflation data on Thursday, I think we could go a lot higher, especially if we're getting some big moves from the healthcare sector and the tech sector at the same time. Next, let's go over to the watch list. I've got seven stocks that I'm looking at going into tomorrow. The first stock that I'm looking at is Microsoft, and I really like this because of this green continuation candle that we saw and the rush of volume that we were seeing. I expected a green continuation candle, and I got it. We bought calls on on this bear flag on this retracement this was an obvious bullish continuation pattern so we lit it up on the july 162.50 calls and those were up about 20 percent going Going. Now I'm looking at this 254.38 level. This will most likely act as resistance. If we break that, I think we can go all the way up to 257.19. This is because there's poor structure and a gap to fill. Next up on the watch list is Uber, and this one had a really nice day today. Looking at it on the daily, notice that we do have these higher lows being formed as well as a hammer candle being formed, which means there is some price acceptance at these levels. This means we could go higher. Overall, Uber's a really good company. I think short sellers have made their money they've had their fun with the news and i think long-term investors bought the dip so i'm watching this one closely into the next week next up is abbv abv this is a value pharmaceuticals company that got a little bit of a boost today but sold off most of its gains into the afternoon and i think if healthcare starts to go there is a trade here there was a dip a nice retracement if healthcare starts to get the gas then i think we can see this one go back to all-time highs i also like this as a sympathy play off of the biogen news today and i like that it's valuable and it pays a nice dividend. Another thing to keep in mind is that the ex-dividend is coming up soon. With big dividend, big value companies, you see some run up for these ex-dividends. Watch for this one to break above that 114 level and start to run back to all-time highs. Next, let's go over to Square. And there's one thing I'm looking at here that we broke out of today. We had this symmetrical triangle that was formed. These can break either way, but this one broke upwards. And this did create a lower high on the daily if you look here. And if we could get a nice green continuation candle tomorrow, this could in fact start the up. 
uptrend. Today was overall a really solid day. We got calls, spent 100 bucks on the July 9th 260 calls. Those are up about 20%. I think if we break above that 218 level, these contracts could really get to moving. So watch this. Watch Apple. I really like that there's price acceptance after that big green candle that we saw on Friday. We saw a little nice run up at the end of the day and we made some money off of it. Our calls are up about 20%. This is a hammer candle like I had been calling out in the Discord and saying I really wanted to see a hammer candle. This means that sellers try to take it lower, but the buyers are strong in this situation. This candle's also off of an important retracement level, the 316. So I think that the buyers could be in control here. So watch this one. Next up is Boeing. And I'm looking at this again. Look at the daily. Look at this hammer candle that I'm seeing off of a support. It's actually a uh, retracement support. And sellers tried to take this thing lower, but they didn't. Now they're tired and the buyers are still strong. This is another one that we got calls on today because we saw this bull flag. And we really like where they're at. They're reopening play and they have value. And they could also have some run up for this inflation report. I'm looking for this thing to hold above the 249.75 level. Also notice that we did break out of this channel and we did see a back test and hold of the channel resistance. My consensus is that the buyers are in control. If we see the breakout and continuation candle tomorrow, I think we could go all the way up to 260, maybe even 265, 270. And lastly on the watch list is Walgreens, ticker symbol WBA. And if you look here on the daily, we're right at a resistance trend line and this looks like a bull flag. And if this breaks, I think we could go a lot higher. And I like this play because there's been a lot of hype around the vaccine stocks, the healthcare stocks, the biotech stocks. This is also a value stock. And I think this and CVS could run with it if you start to see these types of stocks go. As it looks right now, it looks like we could go back down and test the bottom of the range one more time. But being up here, if we do start to see buyers step up and take this thing higher, this could be a really nice bullish continuation play. And that wraps up tonight's nightly breakdown. If you got value out of this video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a nightly breakdown or a weekly watch list. And if you're new to trading or you're just looking for a community of investors and traders, then join the Discord with the link in the description below. And remember, we are not financial advisors and none of this is a recommendation. So use the information in these videos at your sole discretion. And never forget that time is your most valuable asset. So quit wasting it. Get up, get out and go get it, my friend.